Plenty of disappointment in the community today as people learn that a local restaurant has closed its doors this week. The Cajun Cafe began in downtown Fargo in 2002 and owner Gary Gilbertson says business was booming. With 10 employees, he and his wife Mary decided it was time to close the restaurant and retire. One person who commented on Facebook says, We're so sad to hear this. You have been our favorite place for breakfast for many years. The absolute best in Fargo-Moorhead. Thank you for all of the wonderful meals and memories we have shared at the Cajun Cafe. We wish you all the best. Tonight on Valley News Live at 6, we'll hear from the owners of the restaurant. Meanwhile, a new hotel in the heart of downtown Fargo opened its doors today. Officials for the Jasper Hotel and Rose Wild Restaurant say the concept is to bring Midwestern style and the modern elegance of a hotel together. They say it's been an idea years in the making and they're excited to finally welcome guests into the hotel. We have uh, the local community being celebrated. We're bringing an elevated level of service and uh, we're creating jobs for so many. The hotel has 125 rooms and the restaurant offers a Nordic inspired menu. Millions of families will soon receive cash payments under an expanded version of the child tax credit. The additional federal assistance comes as the Biden administration looks to eradicate child poverty. Our Washington News Bureau reporter Peter Zampa tells us how some experts think this could be a poverty killer. My mother was a working parent. This would have been an absolute game changer. Heather Taylor from Bread for the World says America is on a pathway to putting a massive dent in child poverty, potentially to the tune of a 45% reduction. The child tax credit has been around for years, with families receiving $2,000 a year. But an expanded version included in the American Rescue Plan, the wide-ranging COVID relief package recently signed into law, bumps this amount to $3,000 or $3,600, depending on income and the age of children. These payments will come in monthly installments starting in mid-July. This is will help families to be able to handle their monthly expenses. But the expanded measure is only in effect for one year for single parents making up to $112,000 or two parents making up to $150,000. Many Democrats want to make the benefit permanent. Louisiana Congressman Troy Carter says spending this money now will pay dividends in the future, especially in a state like Louisiana where 15.3% of households experience food insecurity. It's too expensive in this country to have people hungry. It's too expensive in this country that people can't afford to care for their children. Now, Republicans are wary of making this expanded credit permanent. Congressman Mike Johnson argues it will result in fraud and too much government spending. We don't have a lot of government funding right now. The government spent trillions of dollars over the past year as a result of the pandemic. Johnson says with concerns of rising inflation and debt growth, credits like these should not be made permanent. We think that's dangerous because it's a direct erosion of our freedom. Making the tax credit permanent is currently part of the American Families Plan, a wide-ranging package still being considered in Congress. In Washington, I'm Peter Zampa. For more information on the expanded child tax credit, you can visit childtaxcredit.gov. Frontier Airlines is doing an about face. After getting pushed back online, the budget airliner says it's dropping its COVID recovery fee. The carrier quietly added the fee last month, saying it was to cover the cost of additional cleaning and sanitation. Following media reports, users quickly took to social media and pointed out that the airline took part in the industry's $50 billion government bailout. Coming up, more benefits of eating chocolate, but this time it has to do with when you eat it.